Stop sleeping. Huh. What? You gonna get out there and make some money? That oh. badge must have gone I'm to your head, Morgan. Sleep. My lord, you're annoying. What are you talking about? Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Stop acting all superior. Don't start with this now. You all right there? All good. All right for some. seem fine right now, but I've got a feeling that they are going to be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Believe in old Bill here, because old Bill believes in Dutch. You know, it's how a fella responds in a moment of crisis to show you who he really is. And I know. For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. But it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Nah, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs>
What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas too. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm, no harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay, well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. 
Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. <laughs> All right. This could get up there. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood few. <laughs> we'll need some. I ain't playing, Jess. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're, you're a clown's idiot brother. I'll say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there. Don't get mad now. We're stuck. Can you get us out of here? What now, Arthur? See? All right. Next stop, the road saloon. You want me to drive? Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yep. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood few. We'll need something. I ain't playing, Jesse. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're, you're a clown's idiot brother. I'll say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Fenton. There, there. Don't get mad now. in the right direction?
Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. Her mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> My brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your last day. I'll have one, Fenton. Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no. I want both of you to avoid raiders! I'm 
getting us out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming after us. Uh. I see them. Well, shoot them then! never to take up a career what was it advertised yeah. you think that woman set us up no i don't think so maybe this place is odd yeah. i keep seeing those fellas some local militia clearly not too happy to have some new competition i'll go visit old my braithwaite see what's what why we've been making money the chest is filling up again slowly but surely Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. 